We're learning some new details about that massive scandal in a Massachusetts crime lab. After allegations of evidence tampering at the Boston facility, some local drug suspects are now looking to use that information to get out of jail. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is tracking those developments now with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Well, we could be looking at a drug scandal of epic proportions here. One of 4,000 cases involved in Bristol County, according to the DA, involves a New Bedford man, Nathan Martin. He's a 32-year-old, and he's set for a hearing coming up on Friday. We're getting this information from the New Bedford Standard Times. Martin has been held in jail since 2010 on heroin trafficking and other drug charges, but on Friday, Martin's attorney will ask for his release. That's because drugs analyzed in this case were examined by a chemist who allegedly falsified reports. The chemist, Annie Dukin, has since resigned from her position at the state crime lab, but many other cases linked to her are also in question now. Even her background could be up for debate. Dukin claimed to have a degree, a master's in chemistry from UMass, but the school claims that they have no degree of Dukin's on record. We're going to continue to update this case and more coming up as it progresses. Live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.